South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley comes to the upstate to officially announce that she will seek re-election in 2014. And the governor made the big announcement this afternoon in Greenville. She also discussed her 2009 campaign promise to create jobs and bring economic growth to South Carolina. News 13's Evan Donovan is there live, and Evan, Governor Haley talked about keeping her campaign promises. And she certainly did. The focus today was on the successes of the first part of her term and talking about the promises that she had made to the state of South Carolina. And she brought in some pretty heavy-duty conservatives to help her uh, talk about that message. It certainly had the feel of a national campaign here outside the Bilo Center in downtown Greenville. And she was joined today on the stage by some pretty prominent conservative governors, including Bobby Jindal of Louisiana, Rick Perry of Texas, and Scott Walker of Wisconsin. And they praised her for her record on bringing jobs into the state, calling her a fierce competitor to their own states. Haley herself talked about the strength of manufacturing here in South Carolina, but a few dozen protesters who were also in attendance also talked about how she could do much more. We have the fastest growing economy in the country, the fastest in the southeast, and we're not slowing down. Wall Street Journal did say if anyone thinks that manufacturing is dead in the United States, they haven't been to South Carolina. This party, led by this governor, who is a broken governor, has not demonstrated that they are open to all, that they're working for right. the betterment right. of all people, yeah. all yeah. the working yeah. people here yeah. in South Carolina. About a few hundred people attended the event, which was emceed by South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, whom Governor Haley personally picked to replace Senator Jim DeMint when he stepped down last year uh, to head up the Heritage Foundation. Now, uh, coming up tonight at 10, I'll have more for you on a range of topics that these governors addressed, including possible U.S. involvement in the civil war in Syria. Excuse me, in Syria. For now, with, uh, with video journalist Ken Korn, I'm Evan Donovan, reporting live in Greenville for News 13.